are people discovering hidden wins? So things that they hadn't realized was going on within the system that actually is a benefit because they started to explore these elements. And, you know, for example, I'm thinking about the fragility of supply chains over the last five years, which we've seen mm. um, with perhaps over-reliance on outsourcing to, to Far East spaces that suddenly we couldn't get access to because of lockdowns. Um, but also things like um, a diversity and inclusion agenda that works very much, you know, very strongly in your own workforce that report to you, but perhaps in your subcontracted organizations, they don't follow these these policies either um and you're just you know an organization suddenly start looking at these elements and then they they're able to build a more robust supply chain because actually um you know we're discovering things that if we shorten the supply chain uh find people more close to home mm. it might add more cost but it actually makes us more robust it might be that we're finding better partners because the workforces we're more comfortable with a workforce who's maybe paid better or more diverse or or treated better are you see, are people seeing these hidden wins that, yes. that kind of come out of the back yeah yeah, definitely. And I'll give you a great example of one. You, you spoke about supply chain. Circularity is a big area of interest for us. And we work with a, you know, we've got a wonderful partner, um, Turn Eco, and they do some great work in this space. But the examples that I have seen, you know, a good example is, you know, you look at your supply chain, you go, so when we get returns, um, where do they go? Who handles them? And in many cases, a lot of these smaller companies use a third party outsource provider that you know basically takes all the stock back um, you know evaluates the, um, the quality of the goods getting returned you know you, you buy three sweatshirts and people do this right three sweatshirts mm -hmm. three different colors three different sizes and you go right this one I like the other two I'm sending back yeah what actually happens to those products and I, I'll, I'll tell you a stat in a minute and it's about the state of California but in many cases companies have been discovering that you know, if the stuff comes back and it doesn't have labels on it, the cost for these third-party providers is is such that they will put this stuff into landfill yeah, because that's the easiest and cheapest way to do it. So companies are all of a sudden going, hang on, why are we using these people? Because, you know, our, our, product, our product isn't being recycled. It isn't being given to the poor. It isn't uh, whatever. Yeah, it's not even been it, worn. It's just tried on. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, and then you've got the, you know, you, you've got the other flip side, which is, you know, you, you're using, you know, in, in that whole circularity space, goods are being sent out to, you know, so the, the, the sweater that gets returned doesn't get repacked probably, doesn't get like, and it gets sent to the next customer and it's in a state of disrepair and customers get angry about that. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the stat I was going to give you, the state of California, I think it was in 2021, of the, you know, of the X hundreds of thousands, it was something like, you know, um, 550,000 tonnes. Now, that these figures are not accurate. They are representative mm -hmm. only, but 550,000 tonnes of retail recycling so um apparel specifically yeah. apparel of that more than 85 percent was dumped in landfill it was not recycled and reused wow. wow so you know these sort of when you're a small company and you see this stuff you know there are obvious areas for you to to look at and in many cases, also, a number of companies use the findings to help their suppliers, you know, in terms of the way that a supplier provides, you know, uses transportation or uses packaging. Or a lot of companies are now working quite effectively with their suppliers going, listen, we don't want you putting everything in plastic bags. We want to see, you know, sustainable, uh, you know, paper recycling, you yeah. know, and many will go. We actually already use a um, someone that provides us products for us. We'll put you in touch. So the, the circularity piece is more than just the, the the life cycle of a garment. It's about companies helping one another and aiming towards using more sustainable um, products and services and helping companies uncover those.